Radisson itself continues in terms of the transformation. We'll be, uh, we're de debating a bit inside the country. 49%, I say, why don't we round to 50% of the hotels, roughly 50% <coughs> renovated by the end of 2012. So moving forward with the journey, there's more innovation also with dining options with country ends. Uh, we continue with development. We're targeting 90 new hotels to be opened uh, in 2012. That's more than 15,000 uh, room. And then continuing uh, the focus on revenue generation, uh, a journey to lift the ref bar index around the world by nine points by 2015. The $400 million that we had talked about last year. We continue on this journey. Also, we continue to develop country in the Swedes brand. What you see here is literally the three generations starting from 87 until today where we are and you heard earlier the numbers around where we stand in terms of renovations under that brand. It's a strong legacy brand, equally as Radisson is, maybe not quite as old, but with a very strong country culture. Where are the country people in the room? just to make sure nobody falls asleep. <laughs> um, so we're also ready to take this brand to new territories. We see in India is opening a number of hotels. We see great potential in Mexico and in Canada to be a stronger representation. And I'm really quite excited about working, you know, the country will kind of float up and kind of get equal priority going through this year and the next 12 months in terms of developing G4. Uh, I think there's, some, there's really kind of good stuff going to come out of that. I, 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 real, I only do get the good news, of course, of these kind of things, but I think there's a real kind of positive vibe around the next generation as well. Accelerating our development is critical to achieving our ambition. We need further penetration in our established regions and add new strategic locations. We must win the revenue battle and focus on increasing our competitiveness through an emphasis on effective sales, marketing, and revenue generation strategies by the brand, coupled with proactive sales and marketing in each hotel, local hotel market. We need to do this to continue to grow our market share. And of course, we must always ensure we leverage the strengths, talents, and resources of our global organization and the talent in your hotels to maximize all of our opportunities. I'm uh, Tom Conrad, I'm a principal with Greenwood Hospitality, and we have the Radisson in Cross Keys, Maryland. Okay, you said you're with Greenwood? Yes. And they're a management company and ownership company? Yes, they are. And you know about how many properties are in their portfolio? We have portfolio? 10 properties in our portfolio. Okay. And um, what brings you down to the Carlson Conference? Well, as you well know, I mean, it, to any conference like this, you get a, a, a good picture and a glimpse of where the brand plans on going in the given year, what their initiatives might be what their goals and aspirations might be. Sure. Well, I think it's going to be promising news. I mean, if you look at where we've come over the last couple of years, I mean, conferences like this, we're seeing a renewed optimism, and I'm pretty excited about it. Across our portfolio, we're looking for a rev par increase of about 5 to 5.5% five year over year. So we're very bullish on 2012. I think we are trending uh, up, and we're sort of flat. I think the first month we were a little flat at the uh, Radisson, our country end was uh, pretty flat, but it, we feel that the uh, second and third quarter should be pretty solid.